Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Don Marie here, and let's get right into it. Oh, I want all my clothes designer. Oh. I'm still really swollen, like along my chin and my jawline. I decided that I wanted to film this video anyway because I feel like I have not been productive at all. July 20th is when I got my boobs done. The journey has been amazing. I love having breasts. I literally went from having absolutely nothing, like it looked like mosquito bites, bit my titty, and then it swelled up a little bit and that was my boob. Lame excuse for a boob, but it's what I had to deal with because I'm transgender and the hormones can only do so much. This is what I got now. I have about a regular C cup now. I had literally an A cup to nothing back then. I have to admit that I am having a little bit of boob greed. I hate to admit it, I do wish that I went a little bit bigger, but the reason behind me going this size is because I wanted something more natural looking and I want a modeling career and I know that models usually and typically don't have large D cups and I know also over the years that my boobs will grow more um, because of the hormones that I'm on. We usually say like you'll never regret going bigger but in my case like I would have re probably regretted going bigger because of A my modeling career like that is what I'm really like, super passionate about. Other than YouTube, I wanted something that was like, you know, full yet like not too, like, you know, busty where it would make my body look like an upside down P, like, you know, Wendy Williams status. So, no thank you. The doctor I went with was Dr. Alexander Sinclair, and he is based in, um, Beverly Hills slash Los Angeles. He also has a office in Whittier if you're closer to this area over here where you wanna go to a pre-operative but you don't wanna drive all the way to Beverly Hills, then you can go to his Whittier office. Awesome. He specializes in transgender women's like surgeries and he's been doing it for such a long time. It's so crazy because the program I'm in, they chose the doctor that I was going to based on what my insurance can cover. And previous to them telling me what they chose for me, I was already like doing heavy ass research and he was the one that I was looking at like and was hoping that I would get. I was like, oh, I wanna go to him. This is who I want to do my surgery. I really, really am so grateful that I had this procedure done. It's changed my life tenfold because like I couldn't wear certain shirts and certain bras, like this sports bra wouldn't even look good at all without wearing a bra underneath like a super push up one because like I was literally pushing up my flaps. Not gonna lie, I had a good amount of breast tissue but like the way it laid on my chest just wasn't flattering. So like a breast job, a breast augmentation was always in my like, in my future. Like it was just meant to be for me. I know that boob greed is a very common thing and um, I do have it but I went this size for a reason. I know that when I was healing and everyone went, um, I still had a bandage on but I did a boob job Q&A, everyone was like, your boobs look small. I was like, yeah, that's cause they're not, they're not small but they're not that, they're not that big either. The size that I went is like good for my body and for what I wanna do with my career, um, what I wanna do career wise. The pain that I experienced, people always wanna know that. I experienced a lot of pain the first two days. Like it literally hurt to like sit up out of bed and um, do literally anything for the first two days. Like you need someone there to take care of you. Today I just decided to give you guys a boob job update three months post-operative. You need someone to help you use the bathroom and lift you up because if you try and lift up, it's gonna be so painful because it literally feels like something is heavy on your chest. I wouldn't say like an elephant, that's a little dramatic, but it's just like a really tight feeling. It feels like something is just like squeezing in there. You know, and literally something is squeezing in there because it's like a whole ass fucking implant under your, either your muscle or in front of the muscle. Whatever you decided to do. Um, I went underneath the muscle just for a more natural result. And I also heard a rumor that like you lose about 50 cc's going underneath the muscle. 
And like, I'm kind of believing that. <laughs> Naked, my boobs look like really, really good. And like in certain tops and things, my boobs look bigger. And in certain tops, my boobs look smaller, which I like the tops that make my boobs look bigger because who wouldn't? There's like push-up bras and stuff for that, which I do have. But right now I'm wearing a sports bra um, without a bra underneath it at all. Just so I can uh, show you guys like how my boobs look naturally. So these are my boobies and everyone wants to know like if they jiggle and everything because they are implants. Sports bra is kind of tight so I'll show you my to my best ability. Like you know they jiggle. You know they jiggle. They feel natural, they're squishy. I feel kind of weird playing with my boobs on here online, but like this is what you guys come for. This is the content you subscribe to, okay? Don't come for me. I'm gonna show you guys the side profile. So this is what they look like from the side profile. I think they look pretty great, you know? I got a nice little side boob going on. Love that for me. <laughs> and they look great. I like them. Um, you know, and with a nice push-up bra, I can make it look like I got a D-cup, hey. Um, literally, men are like, women are fraudulent as fuck. Because <laughs> we do things like that. Really pick your doctors wisely. Um, do your research on what you want. I got saline, which is um, a salt water. And the reason I got saline is because that is what my insurance um, would cover. I actually really like the idea of saline. Previous to even knowing the kind of material that my implant would be, I wanted saline just because I heard that when it went or if, I don't wanna say when, cause that's like putting that like on me in the future. If it were to ever rupture, it would just dissolve into my body because our bodies are made out of water and it would just, you know. But I would know immediately also because the boob would just deflate and then, um, you know, probably a bigger size too. <laughs> Overall, I think I'm I'm very pleased with my size right now. But you know, I, I do experience boob greed sometimes just because I look at other pictures of other people. And I'm like, oh my god, it looks so good. I get a lot of compliments on it. I have noticed that men are very attentive to my chest area more than ever. You can't blame them. They're men. They do what they do. They're gonna look. People act like you know you don't get breasts, so people can look at them. Like, come on now. Make sure you do your research um, on the kind of implant you want and who the doctor you wanna go to based on the results that you're looking for and if they can execute that for you. My CC won't be your CC. So what I mean by that is the CC that's on me and the size that I have will not look the same on you. I have 330 CCs. So the original plan was to be go to 310 cc's because I thought that was going to be, no 300 cc's actually, sorry I'm lying. So I was going to originally go to 300 cc's but then I was like, hmm, like I feel like that would be a little too small for me. I was right because I already think this is a little small but they're big enough for my body. I told the doctor like, what is the largest I can go um, other than 300 cc's? Well he's like, with the implant that you ordered, the largest we can go is 330 cc's would you like to do that i was like hell yeah because i don't want my boobies to look disproportionate to my body my body frame my body width my body like my height and everything is completely different from yours um if you have a similar everything to me like proportion wise then my boob size would probably look the same on you but if say if you're shorter my C cup will probably look like a D cup on you. So that's why CCs do not matter. Um, it just matters the size that you're going for and the doctor will kind of measure you and everything and let you know like, hey, this is the CC that will get you to that desired size for you. Breasts have changed my life for the better. Being transgender and not having, you know, the proper breast look and like wear a bikini in public because like, you know, I still wore a bikini but I wasn't confident about it because like I literally had nothing. And now like wearing a bikini, like I have a whole new level of confidence. And I think that women get breast augmentations, at least for, with my knowledge, because it helps boost your confidence if you have literally nothing. And if you wanna look better in a bikini, look better in um, tops that you, 
don't have to wear a bra with. It just makes me feel like a woman. Like it brings my womanhood. I just love having breasts. And I love, you know, getting compliments on them because I know like, hey, like girl, you looking good. I'm not promoting surgery in this video, but also if you want to get surgery for any reason, go for it. I'm not shaming you. I'm all about if you want it, get it done because it's your body. You only live once. Life is too short to care about what anyone else has to say about anything. I think I went over everything. It's just a quick little update for you guys because I thought that you guys would like to hear about this because um, it is a part of my journey and you know I share everything with y'all. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all so much. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and hit that notification bell. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video.